Not two. Uh, oh. Okay, close. Okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Right behind the mic isn't great, but it's not on. <laughs> we can do it. Nah. Uh, we should probably shrink that down. Yeah. It skips. It skips the some like I think two weeks or like at least one week entirely. Mm. That's yeah, also good. I have an idea how far. Hey. same button you did for the overlay so you go to you go to steam board scroll a little bit down where it says off cam board just and then click it again or maybe just click out like yeah there you go yeah. Okay. Does the stream doesn't see it, but we see it. Yeah, no, oh, okay. Yeah. So they're just all confused while we're just talking about clicking random buttons. You know how we operate by now. It's always technical difficulties. Okay. Now I'm giving Chuck. It's starting to peak. It's going to peak. Lower it then. Yeah, you go. Yeah, she said it's a little bit better. Okay, um. I wanted to try to see if it turned on louder, maybe. Try, try, well, uh, turn on a little bit of uh, the music again. Like, let's go back to 3 on the volume just to see if the mic fixes up again. It doesn't look like it, probably. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have that fixed now. It probably did, but you never know. Hex. Ugh. Hex likes to be fixed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go with that for now. And if we need to fix it, we can. So. Just let us know. Research is proven. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Oh. Um. Oh my god! Welcome? I know this man. I love this man. You want to know where he's... You want to voice him? Alright. Hello there! Good evening! Excuse me, 
sir? Yes. Why did you put your finger in the drink? That's a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Stare. There's. Oh yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. That'd be for usually a polypropylene. Okay. Usually a polypropylene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. A straw? <laughs> Pardon? It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes, we wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Honestly, you can drink without it. Yet plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single use pollutions of your planet. It's true. <laughs> yeah. And the turtles! <laughs> anyway, how do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. But thanks, thanks to the plastic stick, app stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages appendages into the, the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings decision making process. I would agree. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I guess people won't suspect the thing if you put your hand on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived? Where did you come from, sir? Far. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. Stretch. Alright. Thank Thanks, you. <laughs> I'm surprised that they, they haven't told his name yet. They did it, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> you gotta love his name. Hey, don't tell us. Don't spoil it now. <laughs> okay. Back to the game. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. Kind of mission. Find what the Earthlings call a female. You and me too, bud. <laughs> and then we. That's very just like <laughs> throw that out there. He does not know that. Yeah, true. So you came from a faraway place. You find a date. A little, more, a little more than a date. Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. Uh, I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. They are quite tasty. <laughs> Our lang your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. 
Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to, to make communication more direct and simple. Then I'd be out of a job. <laughs> so, then he wouldn't get you some sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. That's sarcasm. What are humans? Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Yeah, we're pretty bad at it, I will agree. Sarcasm is so great. <laughs> Sarcasm is a double-edged sword, though. <laughs> yes, that's why it's great. Can't argue with that. So, how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using the unique communication application for this. According to our data, it is the biggest source of reading interaction on Earth. You mean your voice? He's talking about an app. Oh, okay. Although the success rate of the reading is not as high as the interaction. Huh? <laughs> I never heard about. Wait. You're talking about a dating app? Oh, okay. I'm glad you clarified. <laughs> the system used used a fire symbol as their sign. It's Tinder. Yeah, it's a firmer Tinder. Are you talking about a dating app? <laughs> Or you, you are, are talking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a select data type. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that it, that interacts with it with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to read. If you swipe right, it means you do want to read. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was that just very that, straightforward. That me. that's I mean you could make an argument. That's what Tinder is about. But at the same time, it's like, there are some people trying to find different. Different form, uh, yeah. formats than it, reading. It, it, it's interest first. <laughs> uh, and when two in, in, interactees swipe right between each other, they can com commence the introduction to the reading process. It didn't go well, I'm assuming. Most of them started communication, communicating with very big letters on the communication platform and they said some words that cannot be considered proper yes <laughs> I'm sure they did probably <sighs> we're gonna give love advice to a, <laughs> a unknown creature and it's gonna be great yeah <laughs> I I don't know what to say about that. You said most of them? Some of them did not get mad? Oh, some of them are laughing with text. <laughs> <laughs> did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. Yeah, you got stood up. Yeah. <laughs> That's even worse. Probably. But some did. Yes. But we got confused with their with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meeting. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. 
coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Yes. Interesting. Figured you'd say no. <laughs> then you're here to meet someone? Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each earthling also has different inter, inter interpretations of time. You're right about that. Spaced out on you for a second. How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you gonna read again? Yes. Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. Stare. Stare at him. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. Stairs. <laughs> Stairs. I have no idea. Stairs. Um. Um. Excuse us. Yes. Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes! I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I am not the only female orc on her. Hey, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name <laughs> Herp I69? <laughs> oh my god. First of all, great Lord of the Rings reference. That's wonderful. And nice. And nice. <laughs> nice. this guy sane? <laughs> Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So... You have not answered our question. Are you Herp High 69? No. My name is... Myrtle? Myrtle. Myrtle. And I never use her at High 69 anyway. Oh. You really are not her. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men, nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. 
but we do we don't have any friends on earth hey when you said he's not from around here are you saying he's not from earth well from what I've got gathered up till now they're not from this planet Man. Pardon us for interrupting. But when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about space exploration. <laughs> they call <laughs> themselves Trekkies. Trekkies. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A stare. Just <laughs> more disappointment at this point. Like God. Hey man, he doesn't know. He doesn't yeah, know yeah. Really. Like he just got here. He's yeah. just ignorant. He just doesn't know. No. You yeah. only know what you know, right? Yeah. So, forget everything I said. <laughs> what time were you supposed to meet this female at work? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. Like, he's uh, he's nervous. Yeah. That's like nervous and also, exactly. it's his only way to show uh, emotion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you show emotion when you don't have a face? Right. Yeah. I mean, also with the flashing lights, the he shows like white, yellow, different kinds. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Because it was what golden whenever he's laughing. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. Hmm. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Ouch. Did she reply? No. That's not rad. Yikes. Ouch. <laughs> she didn't reply. I am 100% sure she She's not coming. Leave Miss Myrtle here as me. Hmm. That was. We are a pretty objective. Yeah, objective people. But somehow, Burke's. Vagueness? Yes. Taught us a new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? The most complicated strategies, in fact. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> your kind never ceases to amaze us. <laughs> if that's the case, then. We do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we still visit this place. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please. Just call me barista. Oh, no worries. No day. worries. If you want to come join, yeah, we still have chairs. <laughs> still have time. Thank you for your time, barista. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle.
we will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called norm, by the way. The uh, breeding norms. Although you can also use strategy as the keyword. Hydrate! I brought both just in case. I get like so wired if I drink just coffee. But it's coffee talk, so I'm going to drink some coffee. We will keep that in mind. stretch my legs. Ooh, that feels good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I need to stretch more. Maybe, just... maybe one of these weeks we'll do some yoga. Oh, yeah, let's do it. It's going to be one of the other. Virtual. Okay. <laughs> you're talking about. I'll save my other points for extra life. Great. Yes, torture me more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, take care on your way. When? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Whoa, boy! Who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. What is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Check out Myrtle's Facebook. Pathology directed study. Um, pathology directed study. I could do it. I mean, it depends on like what the end goal of it would be. But... Yeah, she's a. She's a programmer. She's a game dev. Oh, Myrtle? Really? Yeah. She's she's big into game dev. Birthday through just a May, game developer, game programmer, working on Full Metal Conflict series. Huh. I wish I knew what Full Metal Conflict was. Oh my god. Is that Metal a real Gear. is that a real thing or is that Metal Gear? Oh Metal, Metal Gear. Gear. Song. Either that or it's reference to, um, it could also be a reference to Metal Alchemist. Or that. Yeah, but she's a game dev, so it's, it's oh, Metal Gear. Probably. So she's one of the game devs of Metal Gear. Or, that, that word, Metal Gear. Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. <laughs> what kind of friend? <laughs> like of the dog? Before going on a date, 
I mean, showing up your job is pretty common. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that literal, you know. I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like, Englishman in New York alien? Or alien alien? <laughs> alien alien. Outer space? Probably. The other dimensions. Or the other, other dimensions. I don't know. Wow. Like, super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. <laughs> hey, be more confident in your work. The hardest curse. Yes. <laughs> you know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, Maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft, so you're planning to show it all along. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft, anyway. Come on, I know the drill. I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. I literally had this conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. We <laughs> have. <laughs> alright. Alright. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. <laughs> now will you hand it over? <laughs> my word. <laughs> it's not suffering. Pretty good. Um, it's okay, Freya. The gym door. Just stealing some keys. Totally eavesdropping on all of this. Just probably not even texting anybody on the phone. Probably just like She's probably just like moving back and forth from their home screen. Yeah. Or just like scrolling through uh, like those social media. It's just a, what's great about having a privacy screen. Yeah. Oh you yeah. Turn it at an angle. Yeah. Nobody can tell that I'm eavesdropping. Exactly. Yeah. According to Barista, she's <laughs> reading. Yeah. That's what she's told.
Okay. Most people struggle with reading people. <laughs> Otherwise, we kind of straight have, uh, is good. We could have just direct forms of communication, but yeah, but no, we let's not we get yeah. everything. Yeah, it's humanity. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. We talked about this last time. Really. <laughs> missed it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna find something. This is what I looked it up. I still don't know what it is. I got nothing. Uh, mm. What's wrong? Is it that? Is it that bad? The main character. Is the main character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, because you didn't have the inspiration. Oh, okay. I was like, it is about Marista. No, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> cool. about the inspiration. No, I don't know if it's spoiling, but the 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 thing that she's read, she's like, she's writing basically. She's basically like writing interpretations of the story she's encountered and puts it into her own like in her own thing. Mm -hmm. So she, she takes she technically mm -hmm. makes she technically makes a story about coffee talk. But in a different way. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So like during the when you keep on uh, seeing it, you like you look into her how she like she's interpreting other stories, or she's just like chilling in the background, or she's just drinking a cup of coffee. That's why she always has her notebook with, with her, just in case if she needs to uh, like if the yeah. story comes mm -hmm. down. We, we picked up on a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I kind of get the feeling that maybe the book, maybe the game is the inspiration from the book. That makes sense. Like we're kind of in a loop. In. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, this game is like, we're meta meta <laughs> yeah. meta meta. Yeah, right. uh, for the fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Nightbot. <laughs> Thanks, Nightbot. Oh! <laughs> yeah. She's slash joking in the moose. I don't speak you. <laughs> Brandon, I don't speak enough to speak you. Is the problem. So. <laughs> <clears throat> this is the lab <laughs> for that then. Too bad. <laughs> You're the prime example standing in front of you every day. <laughs> prime example? You? You're like the mysterious person I've ever met. Like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Me too, man. I don't know anything about Barista. Yeah. It's great. His <laughs> name is literally Barista. <laughs> yes. For a reason. It also made it way funnier. We could have changed it to Batman, though. <laughs> well, I don't know if that would help any. And yes, I do think Brist is, you know, full of themselves. <laughs> but they always, you know, it is this mentioned quite often. To be interesting, you need to be interested in other people. And so, yeah, a little, that mystery is what, like, we want to know more about Brista. Yeah. But the Brist is more interested in other people. Yeah. Okay. I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Hey. Welcome. Would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Aren't we in the Pacific? This is Seattle, right? Yeah, so Pacific Ocean. This is Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic. The Atlantic is never happened to Okay. Oh, yeah, because it said something about the Atlantic. Stop giving us your trash. Yeah. I don't know, because the Pacific Ocean, that's where the big trash yeah. thing is. But it's at Atlantic. Yeah, so. Mm. Curious who this person is. Yeah. Unless it, it, it's Atlantic speaking, like, the ocean. Mm. Uh, welcome. Would you like to drink here or take away this? Here, please. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, the garbage. Yeah, for sure. The great garbage. Yeah, would you like a straw? <laughs> would you like a straw or would you like a to go cup? Uh, <laughs> no? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding. I'll order right away. No need to hurry, take your time. The other day, they do have like some boat, like cleanup machinery or something, so they just finished their first. Yeah, and it's more, I mean, obviously more than like handle, but it, it's a start. Whittling away. Yeah. Contributing the iceberg is better than yeah. sitting on it. It's better than adding, contributing to the By the way, swordfish steaks at H-E-B are tasty, uh, but it's recommended you don't eat it more than once a week because of the amount of mercury in it. So you don't, you don't go and have your fish for Yeah. Good. You really like sushi. <laughs> Is it okay to order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. As long as you have the ingredients. If that's the case, you know, the salt and the chicken. The tea with spices? Yeah. I'd like to order a masala chat. Okay. There's tea, ginger, and cinnamon. Yeah, I don't think they have any. Yeah, you have to discover it. So tea, ginger, and cinnamon. <laughs> I'm glad you knew it then. Yeah. You. <laughs> you bet. 
readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? Sounds so narcissistic. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> they won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. Eh. Sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yeah. Sorry. For interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah. But I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the draft for, for it. Hey! Wow. How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book. If I finish it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer. But... Conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. Even I can't use com complex words like conjure, just like you just said. A lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Uh, pardon me. My name is Aqua. My aqua from Freya. And the barista here is Barista. <laughs> Good. Probably using my name <laughs> that I chose. <laughs> Greetings, Miss Aqua. Does anyone else just like not change their name? Change his name. Go and do it my character. Right. I just changed the Steam account name, that's it. Yeah. This is just the one that came with me. <laughs> nice to meet you. researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. She's looking. The game dev is looking at another yeah. game dev. Ah. She's scowled. Descriptive writing. 
Not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Still intently listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not something the media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. <laughs> it's alright. Ex Excuse me for interrupting. Yeah. You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes. That's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Kidding me? You work on F FMC? <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I just got a bit. I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes a thing you worked on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. My name is Myrtle. Uh, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, no wonder. Yeah, I did want to intrude on your discussion any further. But could I ask for your business card or something? He and some friends have something we want to do. Or me and some friends have something. We submitted queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes a bit takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This Full Metal Conflict series you two were talking about. Is it a game series that start, that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have the budget for the flashy visuals. But I doubt they'll do the series justice. Never do. Mario is alright. Yeah. Well, yeah. It just. <laughs> That's the only, the only way that, like, they make justice of the game. If the the company who owns the legal rights don't like what they're doing, if the director, some directors like just to completely throw throw like stories like away just to build a new one. Mm. That's what they did with the old Marvel movie. You mean the live action one from the eighties? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one was bad. I didn't. I liked it as a little kid, and then I played the games. And I was like, oh. No, this is not the same. Absolutely. I feel like a lot of game series. All over the Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And then, Trash. and then as well, like, I think last year, going forward with you, they, like, tried to make the Halo series. Oh. But they, like, they botched it so much, and and so they, much, they, and then they didn't care. They gave that to you. Okay. Yeah, they, like, they, the like they, they, two episodes. Yeah, they immediately removed his head, and then they, like, like their helmet. Yeah. That's, and they were proud of the fact they'd never played the games. 
Yeah. Or, I mean, to be fair, Halo's already more expensive than that. Halo 4 is more expensive. Yeah, because 343, they just, yeah, they didn't. They make a story and then don't finish it. They start another one. They try and tie it and don't finish that one. Yeah. It's just like, they're like, oh, we didn't realize, what, they didn't realize Master Chief was the main character of the series. <laughs> Yeah, they kind of tried to shift it to Cortana and then tried getting away from it, but it's like, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Just like, neglect this series like that, or, and I think the same thing that happened was after three. Yeah, I, after the main trilogy, was it a trilogy well, there was of Assassin's Creed? After Desmond dies. After Desmond dies. That's, that's I think for... Spoiler I'm, alert! Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> Lots of story alerts. If you haven't played the Assassin's Creed games and you plan games and you plan to, don't listen. Yeah. Please. Um, Everyone dies. Let's get to this part right now. Yeah. Uh, no, but it's just like. I mean, I think 4 kind of follows because it still tied back to him, but I mean, it was just kind of. Yeah, I, I stopped after that one because I was like, this was a good ending for me and it was getting kind of stale. Yeah. I, mean, I, just, I really wish there was like a, a larger conclusion to like the overall battle, but right, yeah. it just never happened. Like you could have like had this long story, and then just had been like an actual conclusion to this sin, no, not even millennia long battle. Yeah, actually had that conclusion. But now there's like, multiple ah. millennia because <laughs> yeah. even yeah. it goes back to Adam and Eve. Yeah. And then it's as well, it's like the ab- adaptations also like want to appease critics so much. Because like with the new like with the new movie that just came out, the Finance of Freddy's movie. Oh yeah. It got a 37 on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. But the only reason why they did that is because the story is meant I mean the like the movie is meant for the fan base, not okay. nobody else. Like like even uh the- Rotten Tomatoes is not the best. Yeah. It's- there have been lots of rock tomatoes. Critics have been like 12, and then it's like one of the highest grossing and one of the best considered movies. Well, they, they put a lot of weight on the critics' reviews, but yeah. then if you can look at the user reviews, that's usually. It's like, usually like, do the roof, everybody yeah. loves it. But... Cause, yeah, because they'll say, yeah, it's like got an 87 on rock tomatoes, but when you see like the actual review reviews, like, it, it's like 12. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, don't watch this, it's just this is awful. You have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bye. That was a nice tangent. <laughs> of course it was, because video games rock, and that's what this place is about. Uh, Bye. Because some games tell their stories in a unique way. <laughs> some stories can only be told through this medium. FMC, no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Um, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The games you might see in an art gallery. <laughs> really? That's weird. <laughs> not that You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. <clears throat> usually people that play arty games are gamers that got bored of the current state of view. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of players are not gamers. <laughs> and they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Sorry, I rambled on for too long. That's gonna be. But at least that's what I think. Good point. Yep. Yeah, it was really good perspective. I played those games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know? Nailed it. So you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Kinda. 
Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. <laughs> Myrtle might be getting a girlfriend. <laughs> Myrtle might be getting a girlfriend. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine, <laughs> yeah. Myrtle is really getting a girlfriend. Oh, Myrtle! Yeah. I have a question about that my job needs to email you. But you can give me your email. Yeah, we'd be bad for that astronaut. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he tried to meet a hookup and nope, no dice. And then here these two are getting it off. And of course, it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Sure. Uh, thank you so much, Barista. And you too, Miss Freya. <clears throat> Good luck with the writing. Take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. That's a weird. <laughs> That's a weird word. Please be careful on your way back. That folks. Folks. So, yes, that was a nice talk, but you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet, and I could see you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. <laughs> Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. You expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes? <laughs> really? You're mysterious. That much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? <laughs> <laughs> Admit it. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. You got me. But this won't be short. <laughs> I'll be really honest about it. <laughs> well, tonight is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> Let there be light. <clears throat> Cops here. Your first one for huh. End of basics. Oh, this is the. Or this is, is <coughs> day five. No, this is. This is day five. This is day five. Yeah. Morris Lester from slump to glam. Oh. Good job, my bud. 27 year old actuary found decapitated on his own bed. Jeez. Research found that most fury sedatives on the market are not safe. Mm. I feel like I recognize those two out there. This is day six. Yeah. Started this. We just finished it. Yeah. yeah. Da, da, da. <clears throat> you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Oh, look, Aqua's back. Aqua, fancy seeing you so soon. 
Hi, Freya. Hi, Barista. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good. How about you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oops. I asked that already. You cut that off, but... I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Bartle here? So far, it's only me and Barista. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. <laughs> I was just wondering whether she's in any of your time at the time. You have her email, right? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet up you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. That wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions your team sent today. Follow up directly. I mean... Anyway. I should order something. So there is that like... You kind of get that feeling of this undercurrent of like she likes her but is afraid to say that. Okay, that explains some things. Wow, that, has it been 24 hours? Yeah, I guess so. She didn't leave? She just... I guess just sipping... Also, what is the relationship between Bruce and Freya? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering now, because... They're just friends. Are they? I mean, she was there all night. And all day. I mean, she's also... I think this is also her place that she just, like... Continues the story. Because sometimes during the game, she just moves back back to the side to actually like continue her uh, her brainstorming. But I don't I don't remember any because uh... we've got like last 
last episode last week, we were talking about how we wonder if there might be something between them, like maybe they're... Relationship? <laughs> yeah, like they're somehow in a relationship, or, or did they there's something going on between them. Because yeah. like, you have this person who has all this money that's just like keeping this coffee shop open at like Whatever the weirdest time. Yeah. And this know. is the one place she can go to get her stories. And it's like, doesn't Krista doesn't get the money? But yeah, I mean, all the contracts yeah. are the same price. Interesting. Yeah. Been here since you left last night. Blub blub blub. Finish drinking first, Aqua. I'm sorry. I said you haven't left. I was just joking. Oh, oh, dang. I was hoping, like... I was hoping. It's a bot. Yeah, something be confirmed here. Some tea. Yeah. Oh. That would be crazy. Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, barista. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua? Yes? Where do you come from? Because, judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa! You're full-fledged. Oceanic. Born and raised in the sea. Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? <laughs> no, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh. May I know why? It's not easy for our people. Especially the females. You get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know. But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can. You know how hard it is for my people to get a U.S. visa? Sorry to hear that. It's okay. We're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Hmm. Well, this is like yesterday, the day before was about dating. Yeah. This one looks like it's about to be about immigration. <laughs> Like their uh, form of technology uh, really can go both ways. Yeah, especially at those depths. I mean, I mean, we are having to suspend a little disbelief, dudes, but that's yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just interesting. Uh, <clears throat> do you have siblings? Of course. We are sea people. Okay. I don't understand. I mean, because she's in the school. Yeah, that is part of the school. Uh, my extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa! I guess that could also be due to like the amount that fish spawning happens. Yeah, because they probably are tiny. So spawning versus like here on land. Oh, that's a lot. This one's a lot more surface area. There's a lot more. Yeah, there's more territory. More water than there is above. You really have that many <laughs> relatives? <laughs> of course not. Uh, I, was, I was just exaggerating, particularly way too little earlier. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But if you 
pick up my grandpa's kids and grandkids. There are hundreds of us. Holy. How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have not as many as you. I have a little brother, four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? Nope, he's living in San Francisco, near our parents' house. He's the good kid, and I'm the rebel, working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. Susu Tonor Maruja. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Milk and egg. So it's just milk, ginger, and honey. Yeah, because we can only do three ingredients anyways. Wait, you have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf. But I'll add an egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. I'd love that. One cup of STMJ, please. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Nope. Ginger and honey. Ginger. That's STMJ. There's the yeah. egg. See it floating on the top right there. Yeah. Here's your STMJ, sir. I'd be worried about getting salmonella. Yeah. Oh, that smell. It brings back so many memories. It's quite difficult to find a place with the proper STMJ here in the States. I've traveled to so many places. And none of them got it right. You're the first one to manage it. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? 
Aren't you college students? Uh, no, we're not. I see. Oh, he uh, got closer. No. That's right. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Me too. Uh... <laughs> and they are a little nervous. May I ask how old you are? Uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair. Keep your distance. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Christ. <laughs> I just... Who's this pervy old man? I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. <clears throat> Georgie! <laughs> Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie! What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? <laughs> you mean him? Yes. But not so loud. This man here is Rachel's dad. Pray him. He has to meet me. So I told him to come here. <laughs> it's the cat. Yeah, the cat. The one. The, the... He had to take off, sir. Yeah, the cat, the uh, pop star. Shapeshifter. The game. fact that he moved closer that while asking problem. that, yeah. That if he hadn't done that, it would have been fun. It would have been a little strange, but it wouldn't have been creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Or if he had mentioned first off, like, I'm trying to understand my daughter. <laughs> Could you help me? Yeah. <laughs> Not the way he did it. Yeah. Communication. Yeah. No wonder she ran away from home. Oh. What? You were not. No reason. Please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Barista. Please call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. Rachel, and you are Rachel Florencia's father? Yes. Furlong? I would think that she probably just got her mom's name. Her mom's uh, maiden name. What's it? Stage name? Yeah, stage name. That's yes. also true. Florencia? Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Yes, it was a maiden name. Oh. I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Oh. So we were both <laughs> yeah. Of course. Everyone wins. <laughs> hmm. Stare. Breathe. Okay. I think I better work on my novel. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. <laughs> I'll come with you. <laughs> anyway, what was it that you wanted to talk about or talk to me about? Mm. It's about Rachel. Stare. That night when you drove her home, was she hanging out with shady people? Well... I think one of them was a bit shady. <laughs> hey, 
I heard that. What? Not a criminal. I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Barista here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? Hmm. It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we ended up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space. But be there when they need you. Hmm. Or you can just bribe them. One time I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want me to talk for, oh, she didn't want, want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to... Rocco's. Rocco's? Yeah. I went to Rocco's and bought her her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. And captured her. <laughs> yeah. Then I just waited for her to take the bait. Just like a, just like a steakout. Once she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, it was too late. <laughs> I casually grabbed a slice and sat with it. <laughs> this is almost creepy too. <laughs> this is bribery. <laughs> He's talking about trapping <laughs> his dog. Yep. Well, yeah, but it's just trapping in the way it's right, the conversation. Yeah, no, it's, it's, <laughs> just the way he's describing it, it's like, wow, that's... I think. <laughs> that pizza really helps smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. Hmm. What if what she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Or forced to do drugs. Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened. Yet. I just feel it in my gut. Is it possible that you're... Just being paranoid? I don't know. Maybe? Psst. I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit. But everything I, every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing we we can do. Oh, yeah. Other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right decision the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on that manager. <laughs> if that would ease your mind. Please do. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name Lester. Oh. Morris Lester? Mo Lester? Uh. Mm. Okay. Morris Lester. Got it. Oh, did you see that guy in today's paper? What was on that paper? Someone got the 
Is he the one that got decapitated? I don't know. That's the only thing I really remember at this point, was the guy getting decapitated. Well, there was also the thing about the fury. Oh, yeah, that not The working. fury medicine. Not, or not, you know, the, that it was the, working, that it was... Or not it was, safe. It was, it was safe. safe. Yeah. Then there's the one above it. I don't know what it is. I think that was the, the one that involved more. I can't remember. It didn't seem important to us. Yeah, until now. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hint. A hit. Hold on, I gotta take this. I just got a call. I got to go. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet up meet again soon. Wait. You have my con uh, contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait! And he's gone. This is probably a supervisor calling him and saying, Hey, where are you? You're supposed to be on this call again. Aww. That's so cute. He's having some trouble adjusting to his daughter now being an adult. And it sounds like he's got some trauma from his time having been. Whenever he was in the grade. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, it really came down to it. He could theoretically. There have been also a lot of problems with that dynamic. But... There have been. But the fact that he referenced, like, his daughter being forced to do drugs makes me wonder if he was being forced to do that, and that's why he got out. Right. Oh, okay. okay. So the one that involves Morris Lester's profile. Morris Lester, from slum to glam. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Yeah, it wasn't important at the time at all. <laughs> Even now, it's kind of hard. Yeah. But I could see why he has concerns. He came from the slums. Be like, what's this guy, you know, what are his morals? Did he sell his soul to yeah. get this glamour? Or is he an upright guy and has worked his way up? Yeah. And that's why he's there is because people recognize that you can trust him. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be all right. I used to manage a girl band. Oh, oh okay. There we go. <laughs> I've seen bad things happen. Okay. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Mm. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo singing career. It's a whole different world in the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz, but things have changed. <laughs> but things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol. She managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like somebody can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. Her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best, though? I think she's born to soar. But, but she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously? That's your argument? I don't, I didn't mean to sound that way. Seriously. 
It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. That's not. We'll drive her away if you keep acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I... I'd love to hear. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer for Reese? Take all the time you need. Well, that was a short day. Well, but, there are some short days and long days. Yeah, but yeah. that's good timing. Cause, yeah, uh, we did get through two days. And it's about yeah. time for us to end the stream anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, I've got to go. I've got a client.